Hello and welcome to the Cyber One YouTube channel. My name is Ray and in this video, part four of the upper stomach, lower torso for Fred, um, we're going to install the chest pieces. So I've printed these parts out and these actually mount up this way, simply fit onto here. These ones fit in under here and get held in place with some screws. So what we're going to do is screw them all into place and then we're going to plastic weld the seams around through this area. Now there's method in the madness. When I've tried to fit these with the uh, Xbox 360 Connect installed, uh, it won't fit. What I'm finding is on the underside of here, it's actually impacting and won't allow this to go on and join up. So the thought is we weld these together first, fit it in place here so they're at the right spacing and separate it here as much as possible and filling that gap with filament from the 3D pen. And then when we're happy with that, we use the heat gun, in this case the rework station, to heat the inside up in here and push it into place with the connects in place to mould it to shape so it fits. Now to do that properly we'll probably have to weld some nuts on the back in here. The other side of these holes, although they don't go all the way through, if I drill them all the way through, end up in the pivot area of the uh, screws, the pistons. So I think I might be better off trying to put an oversized screw in to pull a nut in under heat, embed the nut and then go back to the right size nut to hold those in, much rather than you know putting a thread through there. So let's get started.
Okay, so that appears to have worked. Um, it's now seated all the way back. It's molded in. This is all solidly held in place, which is even better uh, because it is a tight fit. As it cools, everything should be good. Uh, the screws, I've, I've embedded nuts in the back as you saw me do. Uh, but I need 35 millimeter long screws. On hand, I have 30 and I have 40. So I'll have to order in the 35s. Really is a case of it doesn't matter how many screws you've got, you never have the right screw. So the next thing I'll need to do when everything cools back down is clean up these seams a little bit, maybe give them a bit of a sand, and at some stage I'll need to paint them. On the back, We've got way too much cord, and I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with that yet. Uh, I will probably try and shorten this somehow. There's, this is a non-standard plug, and there is a special adapter I have for this. It was designed for the Connect. It supplies 12 volt power. Uh, I think it also supplies 5 volt power, and it also supplies the data signals. Uh, it's a standard USB signal as I understand it, but I'll figure that out further when I get to that point. I'm not yet sure the Raspberry Pi will support it. I did see something when searching. There are some drivers available, but I really don't want to have all this cable floating around inside the back of the robot. Before I uh, assemble the back covers onto this, I probably need to attach it to the bottom of Fred with the rest of the part. So I might do a bit of cleanup on this, a bit of sanding, get rid of some of the marks that don't need to be there. I've got some side covers that I can fit onto this, but I think I need to wait until I mount it on the rest of the body before I do that. Mostly because I don't think they'll fit yet. Well, I might do. They do fit on. There you go. coming along quite nicely so that'll do for this video uh, to see when the next one comes out don't forget to click on subscribe like and ring that notification bell uh, there's links in the description for other series of videos that I've been doing a link to the discord server I now have set up and to patreon and we'll see you in the next video